Hello React Native Developers, what is going on? William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. I am currently working on this app and you have this list of thumbnails. You can tap to get to a page, navigate back. And right now for the thumbnails, I'm using touchable without feedback. And so as the name indicates it, there is no feedback when pressing on the thumbnail. And I was wondering, can we build a cool effect using the tab gesture handler from React Native Gesture Handler in five minutes or less. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna replace the touchable without feedback by my own component, which I'm gonna call tab handler. And so right now it's a, an empty component. The first thing I'm gonna do before building any effects is that I'm gonna do a drop-in replacement for touchable without feedback using um, the tap gesture handler from React Native Gesture Handler. So I'm going to use Tap Gesture Handler from Gesture Handler. And a Tap Gesture Handler needs to be wrapped into an animated view. So that's fine. And I can put the children there. And now we need to create a Gesture Handler. So I have a convenience, some, I have a convenience function in Redash to build the boilerplate for the gesture handler. So we need one animation value, which is gonna contain the state of the gesture. So I'm gonna create a state variable. Oops. And we're gonna start at the state undetermined. So I need a couple of imports here. State and value. Now we can create the gesture handler. So we have on gesture event from Redash, we pass the state value. And now if we want to drop in replacement, when the state of the gesture is end, we call on press. So back, so we have the on press here. So back to the JavaScript user land. On press. And so I'm gonna use to do this declaration, I'm gonna use the hook use code from reanimated. No dependencies. So I'm gonna create a block actually of instructions. So I'm gonna need condition equal, and I think end call to call back in the JavaScript user land. So when the state Oh, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to use unchange. So when the state change and the state equals end, we call on press. Let's have a look. It doesn't look too happy. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, tuk, 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 equals. Let's have a look. Okay, so now we have the drop-in replacement for touchable without feedback. Now let's add some feedback exactly. So here, I'm going to create a new animation value. So uh, let's call it animation. And so this is what this is the animation value that will drive the gesture effect. So I can pass it as parameter to the tap handler. So I'm getting it here. Now we can create a new animation value when, so what I want to do is when I press the background image scales and when I unpress it scales down. So what I can do is create a new animation value to say should it uh, um, scale or should it unscale. So let me create, um, 
new animation value should scale and we can set it to minus one zero means should and scale one means it should scale so yeah i can create some new conditions when the state equals uh, state began we set should scale to one and when it fails or when um, so what kind of states do we have fail and cancelled so I need to import this one set should so should scale we set to zero oops all right now if we scale we set the animation value from zero to one if should scale is zero we set the animation value from one to zero so if should scale we can run so i'm gonna set the animation value using a run timing function i need the clock so we go from zero to so here's a configuration to one duration 250 and easing we're just gonna use linear here I need to create a clock. Uh, animation and when should scale equals zero, we go from one to zero. and now we can use this value to interpolate a scale transformation so i can interpolate animation i'm going to use since we go only from zero to one i can use b, b binary interpolation from redash so we go from zero to one at zero we are at one at let's say yeah we can tweak any values when we're at one we want to be at uh, 1.5 let's say and i can add it here transform um, scale and here i'm going to use an animated image so let's have a look um this is so one 1.5 it seems to be the opposite seems to be happening so if should scale maybe do I all right so i tap it scales nicely i cancel the gesture scales back very nice so now we do get some feedback so I think that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can buy me a coffee to support the channel and I will give you access to the private GitHub repository where I tinker with all these examples. And if you have a new React Native project coming up, I recommend you check out React Native Elements, premium starter kit for React Native. It's 80% of what you need when starting a new React Native project. Beautiful UI components, static analysis, a boilerplate navigation and so on so i definitely recommend you you check it out you can uh, try it out on through test flight or on android with the expo client so i'm looking forward to talk to you guys soon and in the meantime happy hacking